this video has been kind of a long time coming. I made a game for a Game Boy game jam. So low resolution, limited color palette, only six buttons. And it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed working on it. And I think people genuinely enjoyed playing it. And I never made a video on it. So here it is. The game itself is very simple. You're just running around picking up these blue cubes. But you have some interesting abilities that I think people just really enjoyed playing. I don't know. It made for a neat little speed running experience. The main thing is that, okay, I just got all the cubes, but the main thing is that I can use the X key to set and use a teleport point. So if you look, there's a level kind of below. It's hard to see because I can't look down. I can only look left and right, but there's something down below me. If I go down here first, then I can't get back up unless I had the foresight to set a teleport point up here. So you see that text pop up, teleport point set. I can come down here first and grab this cube there in time and reset my timer and then hit x again and now i'm back at the top of the level so that's pretty cool there is a timer at the top the game's actually called you have 12 seconds which was just meant to i mean that was honestly just a decision by me to kind of put a fire under the player's butt and say okay you don't have that long you have to speed run this so you have 12 seconds to grab a cube and uh, i was kind of playing with the idea of like kind of a game that naturally resets like almost this concept like you can beat this game in 12 seconds and being very loose with that kind of definition the project itself is very simple so i don't really have a ton to show it's more of an experiment with uh, the 3d space i hadn't really done much in 3d when i did this project so it was me learning and me kind of creating a resource for future projects that i could kind of come back to the player character i learned a lot about the movement and you know jumping in 3d is very different than jumping in 2d and, and rotation and aiming and all these things so some of this code is very helpful to me even now and i'll put this up in github so there'll be a link in the description below where you can check out the code because right, some of it some of it's just kind of confusing there's some cool stuff happening in the, the actual game code that you can see there's collectibles. This is kind of a cool vibe, just seeing the level kind of laid out actually in the game. Cause that's something too that, I don't know, it's just different for me seeing things in 3D. These are all made with grid maps, uh, which are very easy to work with once you kind of understand how mesh instances are created. But basically you just have mesh instances and you export their scenes into this mesh uh, library or whatever it's called, mesh library. And then you create a grid map and then you can just add uh, you add these mesh instances very easily and they all have their collisions so I built out this level pretty easily once I had once I had the grid map and then I just placed the collectibles kind of randomly this was all very random uh, I think I did this whole project in just a couple hours so there's really not there's really not a ton to show I think you'll be able to find uh, most of the things you want in the repo itself so if you run the project uh, there's a couple things that I should point out. It is in GLES2 because I was having a, an extremely difficult time running it in GLES3 on or in the browser, which is where it's hosted uh, in itch.io. Um, so it is GLES2. And if you run this project after getting it from GitHub, it is in higher resolution now than it was in the upload. So that's just because I was playing with it a little bit uh, before or after the upload, after the, the game jam ended. So there's a little bit to play around with here. Hopefully this is interesting. This is just a short video just to kind of highlight this project, let you know that it does exist as a resource. Uh, hopefully it's fun to play, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to hit the like and subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.